this weekend, my dreams are coming true. Maybe not my dreams, but I'm so, so very excited because we're adding a third to our family. His name is Turbo. He's a German Shepherd dog. We're picking him up this Saturday, and we are so excited to add him to the family. So what we're going to do in this video is go over some of the items that we've gotten to prepare for Turbo's arrival. So you can look at this video, and when you get your German Shepherd, you will be ready as well. Let's go over to Michelle. She's going to go over the different items, and man, I'm excited. All right, so because we've had Jackson Zoe already, we have a little bit of a better understanding of what kind of items you should get in preparation for a new puppy. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to walk you through some of the items we've gotten to prepare for our pickup of Turbo. We're picking them up this Saturday. We're super excited. We've already received pictures from the owner, and he is just adorable. He's got his little floppy ears, and... Last week, he only had one ear up, and they were just kind of folded over like this. And now they're just kind of pointing towards each other, so we're so excited. He's going to be 11 weeks this week, and he is just growing so fast. So we couldn't be more happy to add him to our family. So let me go ahead and walk you through some of these items. You know, some of these things we've learned about um, in preparing for getting a German Shepherd puppy. But some of the other things we know that um, these are just some good things to have, just from what we've experienced with both Jax and Zoe. So first off, I've got to show this. I mean, this isn't a must have or anything, but they're adorable. So what you see here, these are bandanas. They're locally made in Fort Smith. And we wanted to get some kind of matching bandanas, you know, one for Jax, one for Zoe, and then of course one for turbo just so we could take a really cute picture and of course it's not a super cute picture without a sign you know i know it's super basic super cliche but we had to add a sign that just said you know our family is growing by four paws welcome home turbo i kept it simple kept it super cheesy of course but this along with the bandanas i mean it's going to be an adorable picture and i just can't wait so after that, you know, one of the biggest items um, was a crate, of course. So we got a large crate for Turbo. And I know that some people say you shouldn't start off with a large crate when they're a puppy. You should start off with a smaller crate so, um, you know, they don't poop or pee in their crate. And they feel like, you know, they're kind of trapped there if they poop or pee. So it encourages them not to. But with Jackson and Zoe both, we started out with a larger crate. And maybe we were just lucky but they did great, and they both caught on to crate training really fast. So we're crossing our fingers for Turbo in hopes that he catches on fast as well. Um, along with a crate, I always like to feel or always like to make our dogs feel super comfortable. I know some people don't put a crate bed, and it's not that big of a deal. But I'm just, you know, it's just me. I just want to make them feel super, super comfortable. So what we did was we got a crate bed that's going to fit into the large crate. And, of course, we got a regular bed, too, so we could put in the living room so he could go lay in it whenever he wants. Another thing that I got were just some cheap, you know, I think these were $5 from Walmart, some cheap blankets we're going to put in the crate, make them feel a little more comfortable. Um, and it's because what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that he learns crate training right off the bat. So he'll sleep in his crate at night, um, probably for the first few weeks until he gets used to it and then of course we do let our dog sleep in the bed so once they're crate trained we let them sleep in the in the bed and then their crates are just their homes for when they want to feel safe and they want to go in their room another item was a pooper scooper i don't have it with me we didn't get a pooper scooper for jackson zoe because their poop is a little bit smaller and i know we're talking about poop and i know that's gross but um we have 
dog sat our friend's big dogs before and they their poop is huge like it blew our minds and so we know that turbo he's gonna be huge we've already seen you know how big his paws are and i know by seeing how big his paws are it tells you how big a dog is gonna be and this dude is gonna be huge so we know what comes with that big poo <laughs> And so we got a pooper scooper so that we can clean up the backyard and go play in the backyard with Jack, Zoe, and Turbo and not feel like we're always stepping in poop. So I feel like that's an essential, especially when you have a big dog. And another thing that we got that we don't have here is a dog sprayer or a shower attachment, basically, for to help you when you're giving your dogs a bath. Right now... We do it old-fashioned way. We put Jackson Zoe in the tub. We use a cup, fill it up with water, scrub the dogs, rinse them off, all that jazz. But we know that with three dogs, especially with Turbo getting so big, it's going to be a daunting task. So to help us out a little bit and we're not breaking our back, spinning over the tub and, you know, filling up water cups and using that to get the shampoo and conditioner off, hopefully that'll help bath time go a little bit faster. So those are the items that we don't have. You know, they're on their way with Amazon. You know, got that two-day uh, delivery. So we're excited about that. Should have that tomorrow. The next, the next biggest item for puppies in general, especially with German Shepherds, I hear is, you know, teething toys. I think, let's see, we've got this brand. You know, I saw in someone's article online that it's the Westpaw brand, and it's really good as a teething toy. And so I know Turbo is going to be chewing a lot. And what we did with Zoe and what we did with Jax is when they were chewing on stuff they weren't supposed to, we would just replace it with something they could chew on. And eventually they learned, hey, I can't chew on their shoes, you know? I can't chew on the furniture. We just always would replace it with the teething toy. So we got plenty of those. We got these two right here. We also, and I love these, I get them from TJ Maxx, they're pretty cheap, but they're puppy teething rings. So we loved them when she was a puppy and I didn't really know of them when we had Jacks. but it's just, it's all natural. You give the dog the teething ring when they're wanting to chew on something and they can actually consume it as well. You know, it doesn't have any grain, wheat, corn, or soy added. And this right here, this is actually blueberry flavor. So I'm sure Turbo is going to love it just as much as Zoe used to. Another thing that we got and that we always start our dogs off with is some kind of Kong toy, especially one of these that you can put some peanut butter into. And so what we'll do is just to help keep him busy and to help stimulate his mind and, you know, put some peanut butter in here, stick it in the freezer and just let him play with it. You know, let him get all that peanut butter out and really concentrate and gives them another toy to chew on because these are supposed to be strong. And then of course, you know, once he gets a little bit older, we'll, we'll graduate to the more tough Kong toys. The, I think it's the black toys. Let's see. Okay. So this isn't necessarily an essential, but I say it's an essential because your dog, you want to get your dog some toys, right? So here's three of the ones we got. We've got more, uh, but I just didn't want to have like handfuls of toys. But essentially, you know, we got this one. This one just makes some noise. As you can hear, it squeaks. We've got a rope attached to it. You got everything you need right here. And I feel like between Turbo and Jax and Zoe, they'll be able to play back and forth with it. Then we also got the classic rope toy. You know, the the current owners of Turbo, they sent us a video of him playing tug of war. But I just already know he's going to love some tug of war. I know Zoe did when she was a puppy. And Zoe and Jax still do love tug of war. So figured you got to start off with the classic rope toy, right? And then, you know, Grant, he loves football. We love football in this house. And so I figured, yeah, I came across this. It's a football bone. You got to get it, right? I mean, it squeaks <laughs> a little bit. I think Turbo's going to love it. It's supposed to be tough, too, so for tough chewers. Then, you know, something that I got and something that we're big on because we like to take our dogs on walks, got to get some poop bags because neighbors don't want poop in their yard when you're walking their dog so we got some eco-friendly poop bags 
And we got one that we could put on the um, leash. So it's just easy for us to carry when we're going on our walks and getting the dogs their daily exercise. All right. So another big thing is, and I'm sure we'll change what we end up doing or, you know, if we'll probably get more leashes. But, of course, you got to start off. You got to get a leash. You got to get a collar. And then we really like harnesses because you get a little bit better control. Of course, we want to train Turbo. We want to get him um, nice and leash trained. Um, but starting off, you know, I feel like a harness will be good. I couldn't really find one that I just loved. And I couldn't even really find one that I just loved on the internet or on Amazon. So I just went with Kong. We got some classic gray and black and red going on. I feel like with Turbo's black fur, it'll look really good. He'll look nice and sleek, and he's going to just look super adorable. So we did get that combination there. And then another thing is we got this lint brush from everything that we've seen online and from everybody we know who has a German Shepherd. We understand they're going to shed a lot. So we got this, but we also got a new vacuum cleaner because – we want to make sure that we're picking up the hair around the house. It doesn't get out of hand or anything. So we made sure we were prepared. We got a nice vacuum cleaner that's supposed to pick up hair better. It's got an attachment for the furniture. So I'm super pumped about that. Let me just say, you know you're an adult when you're excited about a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> All right. So lastly, no, we got a couple more items. So let's see. You know, I think a big thing is we want to make sure that we're training Turbo. We have done a little bit of training with Jackson and Zoe. We should do more, so we're going to look into that, and we are practicing with them every day now, but we really want to make sure that we train Turbo up as well. And so Essentials right there is going to be training treats. We have bucos and bucos of training treats right now. This is just one bag. We heard that this could be a good uh, training treat brand. So went ahead and bought it at the store. And every time I go to the store now, I'm buying a bag of small training treats so that we make sure that we always have some on hand. And I also got this treat pouch. You know, Grant makes fun of it. He doesn't think he's going to wear it. But I think it's going to be super handy. I see people at the dog park all the time having one of these treat pouches, especially when they're training their dog. So I just feel like, you know... Why not make it official? Let's let's put some treats up in here and let's wear this thing around and get Turbo trained up. And, you know, this is one thing, you know, we went to the local pet store around here. It's called Whole Pets. We've got one here in Fort Smith and in Fayetteville, and I think they have a third location. But something that they recommended to me was this food oil. Basically, it's going to help with Turbo's coat and skin, and it could even cut down on shedding. They said that, you know, they had somebody... Uh, one of their employees, they have a German Shepherd, and they use this oil, and they said that it cut down on the shedding just a little bit. So, I mean, anything that will help that I feel like is going to be great, and anything to help keep his coat nice and healthy and shiny, even because he's going to be a plush coat, you know, I think it's going to be worth trying. So they actually gave us a free sample. I'm super excited to try this out, and we'll even try it out with Jackson Zoe and make sure that they get some nice, healthy coats as well. And then last but not least, you know, we got this little adventure water bowl. Basically, you know, we've got one right now, but that's with two dogs. So I feel like when we're taking all three dogs to the dog park, you know, I'm going to need a couple bowls, right? So we got this little travel thing, and it's got two portable bowls. So I'll bring this along with some water, make sure we're always prepared when we go to the dog park. So we're just... Super excited to be able to bring Turbo to Fort Smith and introduce him to our house and our family and just welcome him with opening arms. I mean, I literally couldn't be more excited, obviously. Obviously, you could tell that. And just want to hug his neck. Probably going to cry when we meet him. That's just my thing, you know, over emotional sometimes. But how can you not cry tears of joy when you see such a cute face? I mean, come on. So, you know. Grant, he's going to be recording that um, welcome home video so you guys can kind of see, you know, the time that we meet him. I think that's going to be a fun little video to watch and look forward to. So be on the lookout for that. We're picking him up Saturday. We'll release the video of our pickup a little bit after that. So stay tuned. We appreciate it, guys. <laughs> 